Art Summit 2012. This mega four-day event lasting from the 12th of April to the 15th of April 2012 took part at the Bangladesh Shilpakala Academy and the Bangladesh National Museum. We'll meet some of the international guests who actually came all the way to Dhaka to be part of Dhaka Art Summit 2012 and we'll discuss what could happen in the future for the next summit. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoy this program. আমাদের শিল্প আন্দোলনের প্রায় চৌষট্টি বছর যেটি একটি প্রাতিষ্ঠানিক রূপ নিয়ে শুরু হয়েছিল একটি অসাধারণ একটি শক্তিভর শিল্প হিসাবে শুধুমাত্র বাংলাদেশে নয় আমাদের দেশের বাইরেও এর বিকাশটা শুরু হতে চলেছে এবং আজকের এই সামিট আমি মনে করি অত্যন্ত গুরুত্বপূর্ণ এই ভালোবাসা না থাকলে কাজ হয় না এই তার প্রমাণ হলো এত সুস্থভাবে সাংঘাতিক কঠিন কাজ এবং এটা একটা গভীর কাজ হচ্ছে আপনারা একটু কিছুক্ষণ পরে যাবেন দেখতে যেটা বিদেশে সাধারণত যখন ফেয়ার হয় অন্যান্য গ্যালারিরা পেট করে we are very pleased to extend a hearty welcome to all our international guests who have traveled all the way to Bangladesh to be a part of this project. We are very grateful that we have taken time out of their busy schedules to be here in Dhaka during this summit. And I do feel very honored to be standing here and speaking from the audience. Uh, I wish the four days I mean, a wonderful success, the first to start with, and I hope many more will come to Bangladesh. And I believe there is no better way of getting Bangladesh onto the global map uh, than through our culture, through our uh, paintings. Uh, and this summit seeks to achieve that, uh, perhaps in a modest way, but I hope in due course of time, uh, we will see this as a well-established landmark on the uh, art calendar and that we will see more and more friends come to it every year. We have a long history of our culture and language, 16,000 years old language, and there's languages have. It began with perhaps uh, folk music, folk, soft folk, uh, uh, literature, folk, uh, uh, poetry, but Bangladesh also developed its prose pretty early. And Bangladesh had virtually quite a rich language, uh, literature, poems, prose compositions, and lyrics as early as the 15th century, a 15th century of this uh, art generation. Thank you. 
But I need to continue in the same path. I mean, this is was organized amazingly in only a space of a few months. Yeah, it's extremely well coordinated, at least from the perspective of the internationals who are coming, programs, vehicles, everything's set up really beautifully. And you can see that they've been really, it must have been very tough negotiation to get all the artists to participate, all the galleries to participate. Um, you know, if this is what they've done in three months, given two years, what they'll be able to achieve in 2014 is going to be quite something. first time that I'm visiting Dhaka. It's a chance for us at Christie's to have a, have a look at what is happening in the exciting art world of Bangladesh and hopefully in time to build an art market and in art infrastructure that we start to see Bangladeshi art shown internationally. And how do you think they've succeeded? This is, this is the first time that the Sandanis have done this. Do you think it's been successful? I think so. They've managed to create a platform to bring all kinds of people from the international art world, whether it's us from Christie's or the Tate or um, various press people from the press, and I think it will hopefully flourish into something that will come back every year. major things happening in Dhaka and for us to know what's going on in the art scene here it's very very important as a secondary market and what I've seen here is so excellent with works on paper, prints, photography is at par with anything we've seen anywhere else in the world. Now it gives me great pleasure to talk to Bhavna Kakar, editor and publisher of Take On Art magazine and director of Latitude 28. She's come all the way from New Delhi today to be with us for the Dhaka Art Summit 2012. Bhavna, why did you decide to come to Dhaka? Uh, I was uh, usually impressed by the initiative that the Sandanis have taken. And uh, uh, there's I knew a little bit about uh, Bangladesh art and uh, from the work that Brito has done and I saw the pavilion in Venice this year mm -hmm. and uh, was kind of intrigued but of course there was never any planning to come here to look at the art as such but this was on uh, the initiative that they took and I thought that is a great philanthropic thing that they've done for the arts and to promote it mm -hmm. and uh, so which was why I said okay fine you know I need to come here and look at the artists, art, see the place, also see the city, right. so do it all at one go. So this I thought was a great occasion to do that. Mm. I like the energy of the people here, they're very warm, very nice. Artists, I wouldn't say I just immediately remember all the names I've seen, but yes, um, I had gone to the Brittle Space yesterday, I mm. really enjoyed works by Taiba mm. and Pol Pol Polak and Mahbubar, of course, who's also performing after right. this. And uh, I think the initiative uh, by Dreek, mm. uh, you know, mm. the photography gallery and the Chobi Mela. Chobi Mela, of course, is an international thing, we've been hearing about it for some time, some time now and then we also saw some of the works mm -hmm. in uh, Delhi during the photo binal that happened yeah. in uh, you know in November and all that yeah so that has really struck me on the kind of photography work that they're doing here I think it's amazing mm -hmm. 